the economic backdrop has been in pretty strong. We do think that we're heading into a nice earnings season here. It's going to be interesting to see if uh, corporations maybe temper some of the expectations given the trade rhetoric and maybe mute some of the, uh, uh, the, the good news that might be coming out of earnings otherwise. But yeah, I would say that I think if there's any risk to our forecast, it might be that we're a little bit too conservative at this point in time. Krishna, uh, uh, were you bullish in the beginning of 2017 oh, uh, of course, with Trump as president? You yes. said buy with both hands. This yeah, is absolutely. Great. Really? We have been okay. bullish for quite some time and we remain bullish. Underlying trends are really good. Economic growth overall globally is in a very good uh, situation. Inflation remains low and policy remains supportive. It, this is basically still Goldilocks with uh, kind of things thrown in the mix every so often, trade being the latest, uh, uh, latest example of that. Uh, the, the overall outlook for uh, stocks is really dependent on what happens on the monetary policy side. As long as that remains supportive, we remain in a bull market. We don't think there's a recession coming, a drawdown coming for at least a couple more years. Do you think things are narrowing? and it's, it's going to get tougher to go higher. I mean, that's, that, that was some of the comments in your uh, pre-interview, right? Well, so, you know, I, I think things, things have narrowed a little bit. Overall, though, I, I think the overall growth picture and earnings picture is, is, is actually quite good. Uh, you know, as, as the uh, cyclical stimulus-driven growth fades towards the end of the year, I think that's when the challenging uh, period arrives. At, if at that time the Fed remains relatively supportive, I think we are in good shape. If the Fed overreacts to cyclical growth stimulus, I, I, I think that's, that's when we are going to Sounds have a like challenge. Sounds like you're worried about the Fed. Tom, are you, the biggest issue that you point out is trade, but you think uh, ultimately it's negotiating tactics that, that won't lead to, uh, to anything that affects GDP in a big way? Well, you, you, with midterm elections coming up, you, you really think that the administration is interested in doing anything where the data is going to start to show up uh, and show softening ahead of the midterm elections. I just don't, I just don't see that happening. But there is, there's greater uncertainty in the second half of the year. But if it wasn't for the trade rhetoric, what would we be talking about right now? We'd be talking about the strength of the data, and the market would probably be quite a bit higher. I think also that yields would be, on the 10-year, we'd be through three, and I think we're going to head back there over the next few weeks. Well, there, there are people that are absolutely certain you're going to start seeing something in the data uh, with the trade stuff if it continues to. Uh, to go as it is. So how, how would Trump pull back on that? How would the administration pull back? How would they do it without losing faith? Well, you, you may see it, but I don't think it's going to be resulting in lower numbers. I think it's just going to be less strong. So I, I think that the U.S. has a pretty strong hand right now in these negotiations, and they're going to play it. And, until, and, and if they start to see the data, maybe that's the point in time where they resolve some of these things. Do you, Christmas see three and a quarter on the tenure by the end of the year? Uh, no, I, I think uh, we, we think uh, we have probably seen the highs in the tenure because uh, overall inflation is uh, fading and uh, or the direction is uh, is fading uh, and uh, growth towards the end of the year will probably start moderating. So in as a well. tight labor market with wages, you still think inflation is fa is, is is seen the, the worst levels? I, I think so. I think the labor markets are tight, but what we are finding out as, as the unemployment report. Uh, kind of uh, told us over uh, last week, uh, there's still decent amount of slack. Uh, and uh, whenever we have decent growth, the people materialize and wages don't grow up. You know, look at Japan. You know, unemployment rate there has been very low for a long period of time without significant uh, wage inflationary pressures. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.